Welcome to Legacy Week, a week where we will be revisiting six of Yu-Gi-Oh's oldest and most iconic sets. Each day, I will open a 24-pack booster box made up of 25th anniversary packs, starting with Invasion of Chaos and continuing in reverse chronological order. Each day, we will total the number of foils pulled and the total value. Which set has what it takes to earn the title of Legacy Week Champion? Let's find out together. Welcome back to Legacy Week Episode 3. We are here with Pharaoh's Servant. This is starting to get good, guys. Pharaoh's Servant. Yeah, we've got... This is not 24 packs because... Hate to break it to you. These boxes will not hold 24 new reprint packs. They're too tall for some reason. So here are our packs. A little bit, a uh, little bit overfilled there. Really excited to potentially pull a Genzo in here. Buster Blader, Thousand Eyes Restrict. If you have not seen the first two episodes of Legacy Week, go back and watch them and check out the announcements in the first episode, announcing some other awesome 200k special things that we will be doing. There's going to be a lot of 200k special celebrations, and I think you guys are going to like all of them. And a reminder that every card pulled in these videos will be given away so just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what will be the best box we open for legacy week in terms of value hollows whatever you want to do so far dark crisis had nine invasion of chaos had five so it looks like it's gonna to be tough to beat nine but we'll see that'd be pretty awesome if we could beat nine so we'll have both rankings for like uh the most foils pulled and then the most value pulled so that will, could be the same box or it couldn't like maybe you pull nine foils but it's like all super rares and they're not that great so who knows? We'll have to find out who wins at the end. We have Armored Glass. One of my favorite sets to open is Feral Server. Let's see what we can pull. We got Kisitai, one of the creepiest looking cards. Look at it. Is his eyeball bleeding right there? That is kind of gross. Kugata, Shadow of Eyes. We have the Dark Bat. I don't know how the Dark Bat has a thousand attack. There's also multiple of them, which is interesting. Attack and receive. Madzor Beast, and we're starting off with the all-seeing White Tiger, a proud ruler of the jungle that some fear and others respect. You could argue that's the same thing, but it just depends on who you are, I guess. All right, we have Pharaoh's Servant. Let's go. One, two, three. It just depends on the situation, too. Numinous Healer, very interesting, thoughtful flavor text. Solemn, solemn wishes. We have Ladybug, Invitation to Dark Sleep. We have DNA Surgery. Dark Bat, again, attack and receive, again, Gravity Bind, pretty annoying card, and a Sword Hunter, a pretty awesome card. It was one tribute, maybe a little better back in the day, but two tribute, not so good. Okay, next pack, Pharaoh's Servant, here we go. What will we get out of this custom booster box we made here, out of 25th anniversary packs? We have Insect Imitation, we got Bite Shoes. The Regulation of the Tribe. We are not starting off as good as Dark Crisis did, which is not a good sign. We got Kuwagata, Driving Snow, but honestly, Jinzo will probably be worth more than like half the pulls out of there. Mystic Probe, we have Light Force Sword, no Exodia for you, and Infinite Dismissal for all those low-level monsters. Pharaoh's Servant, so far you're starting off, uh, how do we say? Slow. All right, one, two, three, no foils so far. Bombardment Beetle, the Beetle of Bombardment. It's an insect. It's a flip effect. It's going to blow up. We have the Eye of Truth. We have Solemn Wishes. Driving snow like in Lord of the Rings. Cold wave like in uh, Ice Age. Here we have Twin Edit Fire Dragon, an awesome looking card. This used to be one of my favorite cards back in the day. I just thought it looked really cool. Not that it was good. It's a one tribute 2200, but hey, Summon Skull's a little better, but that's so cool. Spike Bot, Prohibition, a great rare, and uh, Bubonic Vermin. Nobody likes those vermin. All right, next pack of Pharaoh's Servant Legacy Week, day three. Uh, can you pick it up a little bit? Uh, <clears throat> hello, Legacy Week. Uh, we've come to open packs, so let's see if we can actually pull something. Um, infinite Dismissal. Could you help us out with that? Light of Intervention. We have the Drill Bug. A bug is drilling. The Driving Snow. Lord of the Rings is at it again. Steel Ogre Grotto. Numero Dos. World Suppression, Suppressing the World. Morphing Jar, Numero Dos. And we have a Buster Blader starting it off with one of the best foils in the set. Buster Blader, ultra rare. You guys can win this, by the way. Keep that in mind. Don't forget to enter the giveaways. And I got to mention it in Legacy Week because I don't want anybody getting scammed in Legacy Week. All the comments down below that are replying to you saying Telegram, saying do this for a giveaway. It's all fake. It's all a scam. Ignore them. YouTube community tab. Go check it out right here. There you can see the winner. When you see the winners, I will ask you to email me. So you email my email that's on the YouTube community tab, nothing else. And since I know you guys want to win that Buster Blader, I wanted to remind you guys. So Pharaoh's Servant, Pharaoh's Servant. We've got a Buster Blader. Now we just need Thousand Eyes and the Genzo, and it's the perfect opening. Here we go. Bombardment Beetle. We've got the Gamble. And also don't forget to check out the 2020 Legacy Week, previous time we did this. 
It was really fun. I'll have the playlist linked. We have Cyber Falcon, Chan and Javelin. We got Mystic Probe, Type Zero Magic Crusher. We got Magic Drain, stopping those magic cards, and uh, Insect Imitation. So this could be the situation I was talking about where one has more foils, but another has more value. Like if we pull all the best cards, but don't pull any like supers or anything, maybe that's what's gonna happen. I don't know. I'm doing this like not left or like one side at a time. I'm just kind of picking up packs off the top. So I'm not gonna know when this thing's gonna end. We have Armored Glass, Regulation of the Tribe. Oni Tank Ruxin 34. You love to see it. Check out those horns. Pretty awesome. What's the flavor text on this? An armored tank possessed by a fiend. Hey, watch it. I'm not a fiend that will pursue enemies until they're crushed. Now crushing? Now that? Okay, I'm not gonna. I don't even know what that means. Science Soldier, we have Burning Land, Gravity Bind. Backup Soldier, we got a super. I forgot Gravity Bind's a, a rare. We've already gotten two of those. Dokuro Yaiba, at it again. Another foil, that's our second foil of the day, and one Oni Tank Rocks in 34. Okay, Pharaoh Servant, you've been good to us so far. Real good, actually, real good. One foil, or two foils, I guess. Oh yeah, I forgot Backup Soldier already, but one foil that was insane, and it has been worth it. Skull Mariner, we have DNA Surgery, Gift of the Mystical Elf. Thousand Eyes Idol, Dark Bat. We have a Dimension Hole, my first ever rare out of a first edition Ferris Servant pack. And a bubonic vermin. He's bubonic and he's a vermin. Mini packs to go in this Pharaoh Servant box opening. Can we pull something insane? Let's do it. One, two, three. <sighs> Numinous Healer. We have Respect Play. Mr. Volcano. This seemingly mild-mannered creature has an extremely volatile temper. I don't know what is like mild-mannered about this guy. I mean, look at the hair. He looks intense. Then you have the flaming finger. I mean, come on, man. There's nothing mild-mannered about that guy. Cold wave. Okay. Ice Age. Kuwagata. We got attack and receive. Time seal. Skip the draw phase. We've got Nobleman of Extermination and uh, Sword Hunter. So still two foils. Not terrible, but we're looking to pick it up a little bit to beat Dark Crisis. Pharaoh Servant, you've been good to us. You were part of our 500 subscriber special, Pharaoh Servant. I think this is the box. Actually, we've opened a couple boxes since then. I'm not sure if this is the exact box, but we did a 500k special where I pulled Genzo, graded a 10. We got Driving Snow. Good memories. That was back in like 2019. Dark Bat, we have a Nobleman of Extermination again, and Genzo! What a fool! We've got a Genzo and a Buster Blader already! Let's go! Oh my goodness, talk about insane! Wow, three total foils, two of the best cards in the set. Oh my goodness, we're like not even halfway through. We've got two of the best cards. All we need is Thousand Eyes Restrict, and then Legendary Fisherman would be nice too, I mean. Just pull all the best cards, why not? We have Flame Champion, Imperial Order, Secret Rare, why not? Respect Play, it's kind of the cool part about doing like the random packs. We could pull as many foils or as few foils as possible. We could pull both Secret Rares, it doesn't have to be Hobby Retail. You know, anything can really happen. We have still a Gregrotto. You can pull multiples of the same foil. We could pull another Jinzo, who knows? We got an Idol, we got an Overdrive. Let's just pull back-to-back Jinzos, -back, uh, why not? We have a Major Riot. Okay, maybe not this time, but next pack maybe? Okay, this has been quite the opening. This has been probably our best one so far, and we've only pulled three foils. <laughs> I think that this would win, even if we pulled nothing else. We have Solemn Wishes. I'm not 100% sure on that, because I don't know the values, but they'll be popping up on the screen, you know, just to see where we are. Gradius, we have Shadow of Eyes. Mystic Probe, we have Reign of Mercy. Vampire Baby, also very creepy. Didn't this used to be uh, Red Moon Baby? Yeah, it did. And then Insect Imitation. Why did they change Red Moon Baby? What was... I don't know. I don't know why they changed that. Pharaoh Servant has been good, but will it continue? Will it be awesome? Will it be insane? Flying Comic Carry number two. We got Wing Weaver. Kisa Tai. We got Dark Fire Soldier. Numero Dos. Miter Goblin Official. Burning Land. Twin Headed Fire Dragon. We have the Shallow Grave and Major Riot. So no Genzo in there. Genzo, you want to appear twice? Maybe? Could make it happen? I don't know. I'm down for it. Genzo time. One, two, three. Already pulled one. Let's pull an Imperial Order or a uh, Thousand Eyes. How about that? Mr. Volcano, mild mannered somehow. We have Light of Intervention. Was that in the Jinzo pack? I think it was. Javelin, Gradius. We have Mystic Probe, Type Zero Magic Crusher. We have the Morphing Jar, Numero Dos, and a Major Riot again. Wow, it's like it's always the same commons at the end for some reason. Still a lot of packs to go. Not many foils have been pulled, but the quality has been much higher than the quantity. I mean, better, I should say. I don't know if you'd say high. I don't know. Champion. I don't know how you say that. Skull Manor, because it's like higher. It's like then you're inferring, you know, more of them. I don't know. Respect play. We have Steel Ogre Grotto. Time seal skipping, sipping turns. Skipping, sipping turns. We have a Vampire Baby and another Genzo! Double Genzo pull! 
We called it. Let's go. Jinzo has again been pulled oh my goodness what an opening so far so uh yeah this you could say is a crazy legacy week opening by the way these are all in the giveaway so uh i hope you guys have entered it because uh yeah just go ahead and do that okay we're like maybe halfway slightly over halfway through and we have pulled two genzos and i can't get this out of the box there we go okay genzo he decided to show up today dare i ask for a third genzo play set <laughs> Legacy week, we have Deep Sea Warrior. Come on, we have Insect Barrier. We have Ladybug. We have Guido. Aguido. We have Falcon. We have Inspection. We have Thousand Eyes Idol. Nice card. Shift. And there's something on there. And a Dust Tornado. Another foil. Pharaoh Servant uh, might be taking the cake for the best Legacy week opening yet. It is going to be hard to top double Genzo, like really hard. Uh, Metal Raiders and LOB, they got great cards, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, we got Spell Ruler as well, which could be pretty nice. Double Blue Eyes Tune or something would be good. We got Shaker. We got Metal Detector, Darkfire Soldier number one. Chain and Javelin, we have Thee-Headed Guido. Thee-Headed Guido. Burning Land, we got a Hiccup. We have the Shallow Grave and a Armored Glass. The glass is armored. Okay, Genzo. Wow, double Genzo has been pulled in this video. And now I'm hoping for a third one. I'm getting greedy, guys. It's just part of it. You just get greedy when you pull something crazy. Insect Imitation, Oni Tank Rux and 34. Notice we've pulled the same amount of Genzos as Oni Tank Rux and 34s. Rarity, Oni Tank Rux and 34. Pretty crazy. We have Sky Scout, aka Harvey's brother. Steel, Ogre, Grotto, Numero Dos, Solomon's Law Book, Inspection, The Gust, Shift, and we have Infinite Dismissal. A lot of traps in Pharaoh's Servant. Is this the first? No, wait. It's like a trap focus set. Obviously not the first set with traps. I mean, LOB had traps, but yeah, there's a lot of traps in here. I mean, it is a red pack, so it makes sense. Pharaoh Servant, and then, you know, one is based, well, Imperial Order is based on no magic cards, aka spell cards, and then Jinzo is based on no trap cards. One, two, three. Infinite Dismissal. Come on. We have the Eye of Truth. Metal Detector. Solomon's Law Book. Invitation to a Dark Sleep. World Suppression. Overdrive. Shift. And we have the All Seeing White Tiger. Some fear and others respect. Okay. Not a ton of foils. I think we're at five right now. Three of them have been nuts, two have been supers. But even Dust Tornado is a good super, so really not bad. One, two, three. And then Backup Soldier, you can use for your Exodia deck when we pull all the pieces in the LOB opening coming up in a couple days. Keep an eye out, Sword Hunter. Legacy Week's been insane. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to watch out the 2021 and then the ones coming up. Seven completed. We have Science Soldier. We have Burning Land. Mad Sword Beast. And we have Island Turtle. And once again, I want to remind you guys that Sassy Auto is sponsoring Legacy Week and the 200k special. So go check out pre-orders if you guys want to buy your own Pharaoh Servant Booster Box coming out in July. You can pre-order with Sassy Auto. Use my code for 5% off. Code will be down low. And uh, everyone's happy. I mean, I get an affiliate. It. Sassy Auto sells it to you. You guys open up some awesome boxes. It's a win, win, win. A triangle of winning plus 200K has been sponsored by Sassy. So even more win. It's like a, it's like a 3D triangle. There's a fourth point up there. It's insane. No. Oh, and I forgot to mention all the affiliate I get. That just goes right into buying more packs to open. So uh, yeah, it's a win for you guys as well when I get the affiliate. So really cool stuff. Go check it out. Sassy Auto, a legendary sponsor of the 200K special. I mean, he's already a great friend. So it's just, it's just adding to his layers. He's insane. We we have the Dark Fire Soldier number two, and uh, will we pull a third Genzo in honor of Sassiato? Time Seal, Reign of Mercy. We got Morphing Jar, Numero, Dose, and another Dust Tornado. We're getting doubles in this one, okay. Dust Tornado is a good super though out of the set, one of the better ones. We're down to three packs left, everybody. Three packs remain in this opening. It's been a crazy one. It's been insane. I've had a lot of fun so far with this opening and all the Legacy Week openings. Flying Karma Curry number two, we got Drill Bug. We got Gamble. Will we gamble? Pull a Genzo for a third time. Mir Minor, not Mirror Goblin official. We've got Typical Zero. Type typical Zero? Type Zero with Science Soldier. He's sciencing. Gravity Bind and... Okay, what do we want? We want Thousand Eyes Restrict. We want uh, Legendary Fisherman or another Genzo. Or Numinous Healer Common. That, that'll work as well. Two packs to go, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and Legacy Week. If you have not seen the other two videos, go check them out. If you have not seen Legacy Week from 2020, go check that out. It's an old video. It'll be fun to see old Ruxin. What's up, guys? Ruxin34 back with another epic opening. Insect Imitation, we have By Choose, the Regulation of the Tribe. Dark Fire Soldier, Numero Dos. I don't think I said that back, th back in 2020. Cyber Falcon, we have Burning Land, the Time Seal. Monster recovery and uh, infinite dish missile. So I think we're at like a normal ratio of pulls, but we're not at a normal like 
We're only getting, what? Have we gotten an ultra yet? One ultra. Yeah, Buster Blader, two secrets and a bunch of super. So it's kind of a weird ratio. We can pull a second ultra rare right here. In our final pack of Pharaoh Servant. Our last legacy pack opening of the day. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel because guess what? More 200K celebrations. And this is only the tip of the iceberg for 200K. Keep that in mind. Sword Hunter. We have Mr. Volcano. He's mild mannered. I don't know how. Light of Intervention. We have DNA Surgery. World Suppression. Mystic Probe. Light Force Sword. And did we get a final pack foil? I think we might have. Backup Soldier. Another double. What in the world? We got a double on three different foils. One of them being the Jinzo, so that was awesome. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutster, Supreme Stage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.